All right, well, we're gonna try the new super late model. I uh, just got a huge update, uh, new body work uh, is the most obvious thing. And then uh, complete overhaul of the suspension, how it interacts and everything. So no more guys just maxing out cambers and uh, your casters. Check it flag, E12. Hopefully. I don't know, I, I, I've just been kind of doing a rudimentary set up with these cars we'll see how it goes it's all unofficial so nobody there recognize right at the top uh one thing is this car is super loose for the first couple laps there's a car approaching stay behind the white line uh that number three is demonstrating and even then, after once the tires get worn in, it's better. But it's still, you gotta be Fastest careful. Fastest lap for Roberts, 18.7. And the car seems to be, seems like it really wants to be driven hard on entry. Here in Nashville, I'm kind of using that bump right there to hook my left front. Uh, when I was working on this setup, there was a guy that was like a 5K. Carlo. Oval guy. I was watching his Hold line. Your line. It's kind of what he was focusing on. Still there. On. P4. Still there. Hold your line. You are clear low. The guy behind has just done a 19.0. Jacket flags out. P4. session before uh, back that back down to where it was then we'll make up a qualifying run or qualifying setup Pit exit's clear, push. Okay, Matt, we've got two laps to get the job done. Black flag, we'll need to pit to serve this penalty. Really? now. That's a new fastest lap for Roberts, 18.5. sliding around on the cold tires. P3, that lap was a 18.6. The guy behind has just done a 18.7. You're currently 0.2 off the leader's pace. 18.6, 18.7 was what I was about expecting. I was using this camera earlier to check my splitters, kind of back up what my uh, telemetry is telling me. Cars just look so cool. I'll 
plan on doing some other sort of paint job. It's just one that I found because uh, none of the old super late model set or paint jobs will match up because of uh, changing the body and everything. somewhere around a top five will be probably what we're shooting for here. If you didn't know, this is, track is where they have one of the biggest uh, super late model races in the country, uh, the All-American. I think it's the All-American 3 or 400, but it's uh, one of the biggest late model, super late model races uh, in the country, kind of up there with five flags. So it's kind of cool that they have this track and this car combo. And hopefully NASCAR will be racing here. That's the uh, end of the session, B4. Because they just got the contract, or Bristol Motor Speedway just got the contract to help uh, renovate this place and kind of start doing all the maintenance and upkeep on it so that, that uh, eventually it can be up to NASCAR specifications. All right, so we're starting fourth. Hey, Jared, what's up? Good luck, everybody. I like your uh, dirt mod paint job. Tonight's the... Oh, nice. Tonight's the uh, first official... Hey, Matt, I'm going to take you to the first lap. I'm pretty loose on the outside. Uh, lap one and two. Yeah, 10-4. I'm kind of the same way. 50 lap race is going to take a while. But tonight's the first night that they're running like the real life no Bristol cold. Bristol dirt uh, event. I was watching the practice from last night and they were saying in the uh, late model division every they have the 602 604 and the super late models and every division has over 100 drivers in it the umps just them alone the last night 79 Fahrenheit hours 50 laps. just to get through all the ump modifieds it was crazy so i'm kind of excited for that it was only 30 bucks to get the stream for the whole Follow car number 82 Well, yeah. Even the sport compact guys were out there, and they they said they were averaging like ninety something miles an hour on their laps. But I think when the new season starts, I might try doing a few more of these races instead of uh, maybe focusing so much on NIS. Start working on setups for these. Uh, I think these are a lot of fun. They're uh, kind of loose the first couple laps. Like, you really have to drive it like you have an egg underneath the gas pedal, which I like. I like cars that are driver's cars. Um, but once the tires come in, the car balances out. 
but that's the thing is you have to set up the uh, you have to set up the car. You're going to be loose for a little while, and then it'll come to you. But if you set it up to where you can drive it right off the bat, then uh, you're going to be driving like a dump truck after about 15 laps. All right, we'll see how this goes. Green, green, green. Car inside. Hold that line. Clear low. Car inside. Just take Still there. Here. The tires come in. I don't Still want to pressure anybody. Make Clear on the low out. side. Car inside. P6. Clear low. Car inside. Your Next. inside's clear. Gotta ease into the throttle. The leader has just done a 18.7. The car ahead has just done a 18.8. P5. Uh, no, this is just the week 13 series, so there's no cautions. And the real life one, there will be. They have both a fixed setup, super late model, and a open. That lap time was 18.8. Plan on probably doing a little bit of both. See, keeping it floored there got a little squirrely on the straightaway. It doesn't help that Nashville has a hump coming right out of turn two. Uh-oh. Ah, I thought you were going to save it there for a second. P3. Just done a 19.0. You hit that bump and it helps the car turn and you kind of do a little shimmy all the way up to the wall. Carlo. Clear on the inside. Yeah, try cutting down too hard. Carlo. Keep him from doing Clear the same thing. Clear on the thing. inside. Car inside. Clear on the inside. <laughs> Not time to get all over his bumper. P3. Seems still a little tight entering on the brakes. Try and dial some rear brake into it. I haven't really figured this car up yet. Car outside. Hold your line. Your high side's clear. You got a car on the low side. 
Low side's clear. Car low. There's a car outside. Clear high. Car high. Clear on the outside. High side. Thank clear you. outside. Lap car. We'll need to come in for repairs. They've shown us the meatball flag. The gap to Evans ahead is increasing. It's thing. now 2.2. Look out for the pit speed limit. Pit lane speed limit is 35 miles per hour. Well, that sucked. You got plenty of fuel. Box in five, four, three, two, one. Box now. Yeah, I'm not sure what that guy was doing. Car approaching, watch your mirrors. He went to the inside like he was trying to give you the uh, the lane and then immediately turned. Got me in the wall. It's alright though. It's week 13, doesn't count for anything. Tenth position. Okay, Matt, you need to pass Coldwell to get the lucky dog position. The gap to Coldwell in front is now 6.5. People spin out in pit road. Your lap time was I think we should try to get more of the guys from the Oval League racing this series, this season, just because everybody seems to be really enjoying the short tracks. And that these was cars are 19.3. Like On the high side, the Good short track car. Keep them coming. Clear outside. The gap to Oldwell ahead is now 6.4 seconds. P10. The next car is Coldwell. And I can knock out setups better for, you know, for this. I'm going to give people more opportunities than one or two NIS races a week. You're around with these races all week long. Your last lap time was a 19.4. And any chance I can get to bump the numbers over this car, I'm going to do. <laughs> Huge miss on this setup. The gap to Coldwell ahead is now 6.0 seconds. See what the tire is after home. this race. We're okay on fuel. Might be able to get away with a little bit more camber in the right front. Get this thing to stick a little better. Mid corner. The gap to Coldwell ahead is now 5.9. Halfway through the race, you can just now start really getting into the throttle coming off the corner. So 
because the setup has balanced out a little bit and tires have heat in them. Right as I say that. All right, Matt, there's a car exit in the pits. Heads up. That lap was a 20.0. This guy, the gap's now 0.5. That lap was at 19.9. increased to 1.8 seconds. setup for them and they knew how to drive them. It's a new, brand new car. You're going to have some teething problems. The gap to Oldwell ahead is increasing. It's now 6.7. Just done a 19.8. to Oldwell ahead is now 8.3 seconds. Your lap time was at 20.1. I feel like I can really visualize the uh, rubbering up of the track now. After the latest update. be interesting to see as they keep working on that how it's going to affect like where the racing lines and stuff go because I know they're trying to really get the gap to Coldwell in front is now 8.7 the A car on bigger tracks trying to affect it to where you have to change lanes and stuff but for short tracks I mean your fastest line is pretty much always going to be around the bottom or maybe around like half a line up like five flags when there's a bunch of laps on the track So it'll be interesting to see if we actually have lines that move or, you know, you're later in the race, you'll see cars come and go as their setup adapts to the track rubbering in.
the gap to Coldwell. In front is now 9.3. Yeah, I hope they do too. Greg was mentioning something about that in the Oval Forum. He couldn't, didn't think he had heard any updates or anything, but we'll see. Like they're doing, the servers are going down tonight for a little bit just so they can promote everybody at midnight UTC. So I don't know if they're going to roll out a small update then. Start to really push. Two to go. Gap to Coldwell. Ahead is now 10 seconds. You've got one gallon left. White flag, one more lap. That last lap was a 20.2. Good win, Hayden. B9, there's the checkered flag. Thank See how loud that was. But I will say, it pulled up a pretty sweet move on this guy. Going, catching up to the slap car. Yeah. And then crossed him back over. Yeah, he did. For sure. What time is it now? Three o'clock? I don't know if we'll be able to get another one in. Might do some messing around the dirt side. Start practicing. But, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, Jared. And see you Thursday, if not sooner. Try and get